What's going on, y'all? It's Gum Gum TCG here, back again with my brother Jimble Jamble. Yo. How you doing today, man? Uh, doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm ready to get into this anime battle. Uh, if y'all haven't seen the last episode of Anime Battle, definitely go check that out. I'll have a link up here that you can go click on and watch the Luffy versus Croc fight. That was epic. It was awesome. The Battle of Alabasta. Really fun time. And today, as you see by the title, we're going to be bringing you the Battle of Wano. We're going to be playing mm -hmm. Odin versus Kaido. That's right. Green Odin, purple Kaido, head to head. Who can really win? And uh, I think it'll be a really fun one. How are you feeling about it? Uh, a little different than the last one, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah? You know, we switched, decided to switch roles, see how it goes. Yeah? Switch up who's the evildoer and who's the good doer. So, uh, yep. I'm excited. I'm ready to get into it. Are you ready to go show them the deck profiles and get into this game? Yes, sir. All right, let's hop into it. Alrighty, y'all. So, I've been done over by good, so decided to switch it up this week for the good guys gonna take over Kaido um, in Green Odin so uh, real cool leader real simple hasn't been really meta too long but hey we can still take down Kaido right um, activate main just trash a Wano card set two dawn active real cool effect allowing you to play with just two extra dawn that could change a game drastically sometimes um, yeah we're just gonna go straight into it uh, we went the you know, the Akazai and I are going to take him down. Um, of course, we got to start off with the uh, Ashura Doji. Um, just a, a good a good body, good swing. Donix 1, if you, if I or if they have two or more rest of characters, he gets a bit of a boost. So that will be nice uh, if he, you know, has attacked a ton the turn before. We can have this on our board and uh, just go swinging like crazy. And then, unfortunately, the only 2k counter in our deck in this entire, like, archetype is Izo, which is probably going to be, like, the most playable card in this deck. Um, just rest of four or less. Game-ending card. Um, you know, going out, and then going on to, you know, his duo, you could say. Uh, Kiku. Um, broken card at the beginning of the game. Um, Don X1 when attacking rest of five or less, so he, you know he can rest their bigger body, his bigger bodies, and uh, all that good stuff. He can rest, you know, a queen blocker because I know he's going to be putting that in there. Um, also, a good target to play off of Odin. We'll go into that here in a second. Um, moving on, here we got ourselves Kinemon, a six drop. If my leader's Odin, I can play a Akazai Nine. Uh, with the cost of three or less for my hand, so I can play out, you know, Kiku, um, Doji, Cat Viper, Rizo, even the other Cat Viper if I really want. Um, also, when attacking, I can set one of those as active. Um, so, uh, if I were to, you know, swing with a uh, Cat Viper, I can set it as active to, you know, uh, restand it to have as a blocker for the next turn which is going to be really really good and then of course we got to have our search for momo um it's just bonnie but adds a wano card um real good to have real feels really good to have a searcher and then we got shinobu just a three five vanilla with the wano uh, attributes we can search it off of momo um or we could play it off of odin as well there's a lot of targets we can play off of odin with this um, then we got Denjiro. This card's fantastic. Um, Don X1 when attacking, set to a Don active. That can help us a lot in the later game when trying to go for bigger swings. Um, next we got uh, Nekomushi. Um, I'll play rest of three or less. Pretty damn good if you ask me. Um, good game ending card. And, uh, it can allow us to you know, use it for free if, if we use our leader effect. Um, going on to Ryzo, a real good card back in the day as well. Um, when attacking, if I have two more characters, draw a card. So, you know, drawing the card is going to be really good to have. To potentially get some more of our uh, 2Ks or 1Ks, really whatever. Um, and then we got the, the main man himself, Odin. Um, 
a multi-attacking huge swinger. Um, activate main, rest three, set the character active. Go for some huge swings. And then if it gets if it's for somehow to get killed, which who knows? Um, we get to play out a Wano character from our deck, which is gonna be really nice. Especially if we could play off uh, you know, like an Izo or a Kiku or a blocker uh, cat viper. Uh, really, just most of our deck is going to be targets for uh, Odin here. Um, so if they really want to get rid of it, it's going to have a uh, price to pay. Then we got Toki. Um, this is really just a blocker if 8-drop Odin is on the field. Um, that's really it. Other than that, it's just a counter. Then we have, uh, of course, Cat Viper. Um, this did feel really bricky, so I only kept it at two. But, um, real good blocker. We can play off of uh, Odin's effect, Kinemon's effect. Um, actually, I might bump this up to four. Yeah, I think we'll switch this out here, actually. Should not really be doing that, but, you know, it's whatever. Gotta get our forces in the right. Uh, that sounds so stupid. Cut that. Um,. Uh, so yeah, uh, switch that out for, you know, four Cat Viper instead. Uh, you know, we want as many targets to play for Kinemon and Odin as possible. And then for our events, we're going to have uh, two You Can Be My Samurai. Rest two of your characters, draw two. Really, really cool. Um, get us some hand advantage going. And then, of course, we got our Paradise Waterfall. Um, leader gains 2k power and then set a character active, which is going to be really, really good. Paired off with Odin, so you know our Odin can't be killed by battle. Um, I know Kaido, Kaido does, does like a lot of killing, so I don't know. Who knows? But um, yeah, this is going to be the deck list, and uh, yeah, we're going to slash our way into victory. I'm going to mess you up, Kaido. All right, y'all, here we go. You can see I got the purple Kaido deck list loaded up, and like I said, if you haven't watched that first episode, definitely go check that out. I have a link to that down in the comments below as well. But um, we try to keep this as strictly close to what you would have seen in that uh, actual fight. Like, you know, the characters and stuff and people who played a role in that fight and that uh, that arc or whatever. So, like, um, not sure how many of these characters actually were there during that initial Wano fight between Kaido and Odin. But... It's kind of hard to fill a deck sometimes, and I did my best to make it uh, seem as though this is what would have happened. So let's just go ahead and run over the deck list, and uh, there is one card in here. Uh, I'll go ahead and talk about it. Onigashima Island. This might not have been in there uh, during the actual anime fight or in the anime at that time. I do believe this happened a little while after Kaido had gotten into Wano, um, but... Uh, that being said, this deck really can't function without it, so we are going to make an exception for that, and, uh, like I said, any of these characters, maybe some of the Toby Ropo that, um, hadn't been recruited or not yet, uh, it, it would be very hard to fill this deck up with, uh, just Kaido, basically, so... Off the bat, of course, we got the Purple Kaido Leader. If you don't know what he does, he activate main, once per turn, Dawn minus seven, trash one of your opponent's life cards crazy card just instant hit uh we can use this to help close out the game you know we can go for one big swing get him down to one life card and uh then rip the last one and then go for one more massive swing with like our 10 drop kaido speaking of which we got 10 drop kaido 12k on play dawn minus six board wipe if your leader's animal kingdom pirates ko all characters other than this one so absolutely crazy we're going to be able to decimate the board uh then we have seven drop king 7k power on play dawn minus two ko one of your opponent's characters cost three or less and a two or less really good we do have the six drop 5k rush queen in here uh not a great card but i definitely wanted to include it you know we got to do some funny stuff in this series um Dawn minus one, this character gains rush during the turn. They give an opponent's character minus 2k power. So not, not too bad, not too great. Uh, and then we are playing for Korizumi Orochi. Uh, this guy just being a nice 2k. Um, that's really it. He reveals an artificial devil fruit smile event from your deck and adds it to your hand, but we're not playing that. So we really just want to have him for the 2k. Uh, another one that we're having for a 2k is Sasuke, but this one actually is useful. We can put it on the field. Uh, and then Dawn times one when attacking, you trash a card and 
uh, added on from your Dawn deck and has rested, so a little ramp if we need it. Uh, we are playing a couple copies of the Hand Rip Jack. We are playing one copy of the uh, Attacking Active Characters Page 1. Uh, we are playing two copies of the Promo Kaido Dragon that at the end of the turn adds a Dawn deck uh, a dawn from your dawn deck active uh, we are also on four ulti just as a good 2k and then if we do have it in combination with one of the page ones we can play that from our hand on play uh, we are also on a couple copies of nine drop rush kaido you got to have this close out the game we got a couple copies of six drop king be get, being able to uh, ko some of his smaller characters a couple copies of um five drop queen you got to be able to draw some cards and sort through the deck uh, we are on four copies of Who's Who trigger uh, that pops a three or less. Really, really strong if we pull this out of life. And then we are on four copies of the two drop blocker Black Maria. We are on four copies of the uh, 6K page one vanilla. And then four copies of Onigashima Island. And I actually, looking at this list again, I think I want to cut a couple cards. Uh, I'm going to cut one of these Jack real quick. And then I think I'm going to cut one of these Kaido. And we're going to throw in some Blast Breath. Uh, because something that we could really uh take advantage of is having some counter power if we need it so that being said uh that's the deck i'm ready to run with it i'm ready to hop into this game and rip that last life card slay odin like kaido did in the anime so uh let's give him a ring and hop into this game all righty y'all here we are queued up ready to fight uh as you can mm -hmm. see kaido versus odin uh <clears throat> I'm really feeling good about this one. I'm ready to hop into here, show you the Wrath of the Animal Kingdom Pirates. Oh, is that right? That's right. Well, we'll see. Yep, we'll see. But before we see, uh, you know I got to shout out Dueling Guard. If you haven't heard of Dueling Guard, they're the best TCG accessory company on the market. They make the highest quality anime-inspired TCG accessories such as deck boxes, binders, and playmats. Also, now sleeves. If you haven't tried out their sleeves, make sure to go check out their sleeves. Um, they are the best quality sleeves I've ever laid my hands on. And if you go down in the description below, you can use code GUMGUMTCG to get a discount at checkout. Huh? You still aren't using Dueling Guard? then you aren't using the best TCG accessories on the market. Dueling Guard makes the highest quality TCG deck boxes with the most stunning artwork I've ever seen. Their modular design allows for easy access to your decks and dice. They don't just make deck boxes, they also make the highest quality binders with side-loading pages to keep your expensive cards safe and protected. They also make high quality play mats and now even sleeves. I personally use their sleeves on all of my cards and cannot go back to another sleeve after I've been using theirs. They are grippy and slick when you need them to be, and I have no doubts that my cards are protected in them. Gear up with Dueling Guard to protect your cards in style. Don't forget to use code GUMGUMTCG to get a discount at checkout. All right, man. Uh, looks like you got the choice to choose first or second. Which one are you going to do? Are you going to take the first strike? Honestly, no. No, you're gonna let me go first. I'm gonna Excellent. get. I'm gonna get a taste that of what you're made on, of. That puts me on perfect curve, and this hand looks incredible. Uh, this hand's not looking too good. Do, 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 do. Much better. I pass. I pass my turn. Oh. No one Don plays. Sounds about right for Kaido. Yeah. Oh. We did end up drawing at the Momo Searcher. Oh, the Momonosuke. Kozuki Momonosuke. You know, I, I, I was saying in the deck profiles that we try to keep this as accurate as possible. And uh, I guess technically Momo was there around that time when, when this fight was taking place. Um, I do have a card or two in here that might not be exactly right. You know, like the Toby Ropo. But uh, there's not much else I could have put in this deck. You know, I'm not exactly cool. certain on that. Same with the island. Got a Rizo Ooh. here. Rizo's good. And pass that off to you, man. All right. Well, Momo's going to get hit with that club. Oh, yeah. He's got Thunder Bob <laughs> to the head. And you know I got yeah. the island. The island. Sounds about right. Yep. Does it sound about right? Yep, it does. Well, let's see what you got. Oh. 
feeling like it's taking Rizo. the first swing right at you. Oh, first swing is an easy take. Oh, quite a bit of options here. I don't know which which of my squad I should send out first, but which of the scabbards are going out there? Oh, scared of a king. That's king, my thing. I am on curve for it. I think we'll put out a cat viper. Ooh, nice little blocker. Yeah. Not too bad. Sir. Uh, here go, man. Not too shabby. Well, <clears throat> um, how about we try something like this? Mm, Give no, me a no king. I'll be good for a while. I'll let you get a hit there. Right. Well, no king, but I do have queen. The queen. Zoom in. Yeah, I'm gonna draw two and trash one. Thinking. Hmm. Thinking I might let this Sasuke go. We're gonna run. Sasuke. Pass it back. Be at eight next turn. Moving fast. Yeah. It's what purple does best. But you'll be on eight next turn, too. Got that right. Um, show me what you can do, Odin. Oh, he'll show you. Nice little Totska blade at your face. The Totska blade to the face. With five active, do I smell a dingy row? Maybe. You know, five. I'm going to have to give you the Orochi. The Orochi. Hate that guy. Yeah, he's a menace. And you are right about that one. Yeah, I knew it. <clears throat> I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and use my leader effect. Really? Gonna trash a card. Trash the Kiku. Trash the Kiku to stand two. Go for another oh, search here. Oh, for the here. Momo? There he is. The main man. Ooh, scary. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pass on. Scary man himself. See if he can handle it. I think we can. Not too worried about it. Hmm. You know that Momo gets really good value. Sensing a uh, seven drop king here? No. I think we're going to go for that Momo. Oh, yeah. He doesn't stand a chance for that one, I have to admit. Yeah, man. Two times he's gotten beaten over the head with that club. The big old bonk. Um, To be honest, not a whole lot I can do. Really? Really? You got such, a huge, just... you got such a huge pirate squad. I mean, there's so much you can yeah, do, I though. Yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of chilling over here like this is gonna look weird but <laughs> whoa okay um like i said it's gonna look weird i mean i think i just have to block just block it all right well here comes jack oh let me trash a couple cards i see hopefully we'll see Mm, you see that eight dawn on my field there. I think it might that be. That Odin looking nice, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. Um, yeah, I think we're going to drop him down. Drops down the Odin. And then we'll get us a little, uh, little dawn activation here. 
get some of our dawn back. Yeah. You are my samurai. You can be my samurai. You can be my samurai. Well, you can't, Kaido. Oh, that's rude. Um, I think we're going to have to use Denjiro's skill a little bit here. Yeah, you're going to get some more dawn back? Oh, Those yeah. Those going in. Going in on that queen. <clears throat> that's fine. Queen got some value. And then I'm honestly thinking to go for a big big slice and dice here. I'll take the Totska blade to the face. Um, have to let you go with one open. One open. Hmm. Well. What you got? I'm starting to have a funny feeling of what's happening here. What's happening? You're all the way at 10. I am at 10, but <clears throat> I feel bad to use a 10 drop Kaido if I had it because my jack would have gotten zero value. You know, maybe I should have just held the jack. Hmm. Because I think I do have to just. Yeah, go that in. sounds all right. There he goes. Who are you pulling out with that 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 Odin? Can you give me a little Okiku. Oh. Uh -huh. Little Rizo. Momonosuke? I don't know. Really. The options are limitless. There is a lot of options. I'm thinking about the Kiku, yeah. Yeah, Kiku's a good one. Well, let's get this ramp. Let's go at you. Got me there, man. I got you there. I'll pass. Ooh, that's a good draw there, actually. Ooh, you got the, you got another Odin for me. Uh, pretty, cl pretty close. Got a little Kinemon here. Oh, that is really good. Be able to build that presence back up. I think we'll, I think we'll play out another Cat Viper here. Get some, cat vibe. get some protection there. Um, I mean, I have no other option but to just swing right in the face. Start swinging. Take that one. Oh! Trigger? Maybe you should have held that character. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. Pop. I was actually not. I'm surprised. This, I'm surprised this who's who isn't better, to be honest. Yeah. It's really good if you trigger it. Yeah, I completely forgot that I had a trigger. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I caught you off guard. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. Who is it? Who? Who is who? Oh. Yeah, I just gotta go for it again. You know, my main man Orochi just coming in clutch, saving me. Mm. He won't for long. He won't for long. Well. Let's just do a little cleanup duty. Mm. Yeah, King can do that. Yeah, I don't want you re-standing that Kiku. That's, that's too strong. Get that Dawn back. Hit you for five. I think I gotta protect myself here. Yeah, I mean, how do you protect against that? Uh, I'm not. Just to put it <laughs> simply. Man. That 
Kaido's a mess. The 12K? Yep. Yeah, he's pretty good, man. Ten drop Kaido. Goes crazy. People forget about this card because you have to play an Animal Kingdom Pirates leader. So the only applications we've had so far for this are purple Kaido, blue purple Kaido. But now we do have the black purple king coming out, and I think it's going to really do well in there. For sure. Oh. You have to show me some more blockers. Fortunately, my army does not block too much. No? All aggressive? Majority of the time. Just like resting that oh. body of yours. The Cat Viper versus the Who's Who. Who does win that fight? Ah, uh, I think Who's Who wins. Yeah. Unfortunately. Who's Who kind of strong, to be honest. Um... Thinking we can get pretty big swing in here. Pretty big swings. Yeah, I really, really do not like that who's who there. I have to clear okay, that out. Sure. Um. I think I'm just gonna swing six at you. Well, Sasaki's gonna swoop in. Sasaki. Then I'm gonna bring out uh, one of the stronger ones again, Denjiro. Denjiro's crazy, man. Uh, it's your go. All right. Well, that one up is pretty suspicious. Is it? But, you know, I think it might be something we can get through. <laughs> Let's take that big swing, brother. Uh, no Takes trigger. it, no trigger. That last life card's looking pretty tasty. Is it? Oh, it's gone. Oh, no. Your son, your child. I killed him. You actually <laughs> killed my child. For the third There's time. Wrong with you. All right, let's go seven. Uh, obviously, you know, we got to fix You got the waterfall. A bit. All right. And just to close it out, the big bog went to the head. Is that so? I'd like to think so. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good game, man. G -G -G. Oh, I had another who's who in life. Last life card. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that who's who got me. <laughs> you played right into it. It was so funny. Not I was just sitting on that. 2Ks the whole game. Yeah, I could, t I could see that. Yeah, I didn't really have much else going on in the early game. My opening hand was really good, though. I had Island, I had 10 drop, I had Queen, and two 2Ks. Two gotcha. Uh, my first hand was a uh, triple Cat Viper. No, that's not good. The the one on the field right now. Too much, too much Garfield. Too much. But that was a lot of fun. That was a good one. Uh, we'll definitely have yeah. to do another good one next week. So, yes, sir. Uh, any suggestions you all have for leaders you would want to see pinned against each other like this, let us know down in the comments below. We have some ideas, but we always love to hear what you want to see. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed already, definitely make sure to subscribe. Like the video. It helps other people see this content. I really enjoy making this fun style content. And uh, yeah, we want to keep bringing you the best quality that we can. So definitely make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you want to see. And yeah, any last words? Odin? Uh -huh. Um, you're getting whooped next week. Just wait for that. I'm getting whooped next week. That's crazy. Is it? Or is it the That's truth? That's crazy. I guess we'll just have to see what the leaders are. But yep. anyway, thanks so much for watching, y'all. And we'll see you on the next one.
Peace. Peace.